Manipur Education Minister T.H. Radhishyam stated that efforts are on for setting up of a girls' signing school in Imphal. Minister T.H. Radhishyam made the statement while speaking to media at his residence. Radhishyam extended monetary help to candidates who have been selected for National Defence Academy NDA. Radhishyam distributed Rs 50,000 each to the parents of the students from his own pocket money. India yesterday reacted strongly to six resolutions drafted by the European Parliament lawmakers on India's Citizenship Amendment Act, which would be tabled and debated tomorrow and voted on the day after. The formidable number of 626 of the 751 members of the EU Parliament has come out in a scathing denouncement of not only the CAA, but also the issue of Kashmir in its draft resolution, according to media reports. A discussion program on the theme Idea Manipur was held today at the residence of President of Bhartiya Janata Yuva Morcha P. Somorjit at Lilongchajing Pukri Achogomapal today. The meeting was organized by BJYM Manipur. Rajya Sabha MP K S H Bhavananda, Lok Sabha MP R K Ranjan, Vox Minister T H Biswajit, and party workers of Langthabal constituency were also present at the program. A tripartite accord for final settlement of demands in Boroland was signed this afternoon in New Delhi. Boroland will now soon be named as Boroland Territorial Region and will have more administrative power. Cadres of all the four factions of NSFB will lay down arms on January 30th. Singhar Battalion under the aegis of Chuchampur sector sees red sandalwood worth rupees 5 crore weighing around 10,750 kg on January 23rd near Indo Myanmar border. Caught in the whirlpool of 23 year long peace process, the NSCN IM has fired a salvo at New Delhi and said unrestrained excessive activities of NIA may force them to withdraw ceasefire and resume its violent armed conflict. The Ministry of Information and Publicity of NSCN IM yesterday evening issued a press release and alleged that during the last two decades of ceasefire, there has been innumerable violations of ceasefire ground rules by the security forces. After an improvised explosive device was recovered on the Imphal River Bank at Singjamai Waikom Lekai on Republic Day in the early hours of the morning, a bomb exploded at Kaisamthong Thangjam Lairag last night around 9 pm, but no casualties were reported. A suspected case of coronavirus has been identified in Bihar's Chapra area. According to media reports, a girl who recently visited China has returned to Bihar after symptoms similar to the coronavirus that has killed 80 people in China. The girl was rushed to the Patna Medical College and Hospital for further tests to see if she has been infected by coronavirus. As the country celebrated the 71st Republic Day, the left parties and Congress organized around 5,000 joint meetings across West Bengal in protest against anti Citizenship Amendment Act and NPR yesterday. According to media reports out of the CAA and National Population Register, meetings 60 were held in Kolkata, the state capital of West Bengal.